What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow playing some more Farming Simulator 22. Holy cow, we're doing a Let's Play. We're back. We're back doing a Let's Play. And you guys already know this from the title and stuff. But we're here, Griffin, Indiana. If you guys recall, this was a Farming Simulator 22. No, a Farming Simulator 19 map, that is. That has now been uh, brought over to 22. One of my favorite maps of all time, to be honest, it's in the top five for sure. Don't ask me to name them right now. I mean, you can. Feel free to leave a comment down below. But welcome to episode one. And this is going to, uh, I'm going to look at this Let's Play a little bit different than a normal one. By the way, hang on. <laughs> Two plus two. Uh, I'm going to look at this a little bit different than a normal Let's Play that I would normally do. I'm going to gear this towards somebody that has never played farm sim all right and you guys know uh obviously i stream over on twitch twitch.tv slash boom plot links in the description just throwing a shameless plug but i'm gonna throw this uh I constantly constantly over on twitch i get the question of i'm new to the game how do I start? What do I do? How do I do it? Blah, 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 all that stuff. And I don't mind answering the question, but it's kind of a hard question to answer. So this series is going to kind of be in response to that question. Okay. And you'll notice I have stuff that doesn't look like anybody has when they start a map. I understand that, but I'll do my best to explain what I have and uh, show you in the shop like different categories and stuff. So this is obviously a combine and we have a field up yonder here of soybeans that is ready to be harvested, okay? Now, how do we determine that it's ready to be harvested? I think that's just gonna be the biggest thing. I'm gonna ask a lot of questions, but I also wanna encourage you guys, if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, Leave them down below. The way that I record this series is I will not record the next episode till the previous one comes out. So this video is probably coming out on the well, this coming well, it's probably Friday for you guys right now. Which I'm putting the pressure on myself now because it's ten almost eleven o'clock at night on Thursday, the night before. Anyway, I anyway, it's a whole thing. So this video is coming out, you know, Friday. So I won't record the next one till well, probably Sunday or maybe Monday. I'm not sure. I don't know what my schedule is going to be for this Let's Play yet. We'll see how many episodes a week uh, we get into. Uh, I'm thinking at least two. All right. But I don't know what happened there. I swear. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was me. But anyway. So how do we determine that this field is ready? Oh, you hit your little escape button if you're on PC. Of course, wait for your autosave to kick in. Because you've actually had the map running for a while. And it's probably actually going to look something like this over here on the first page. And you just toggle over a couple here. Bada bing, bada boom. That's ready to harvest. Look at that. I'll tell you what crops you have. And it's pretty self-explanatory in here, honestly. I am a uh, couple quick notes here that don't really pertain to somebody brand new starting out, but just for everybody to be on the same page here. I am running seasons. I will also be teaching you, showing you guys kind of the season stuff, how to get those you know, the environmental score up higher, that kind of stuff, our pH, our nitrogen. Obviously, we don't have any yield data yet. Okay, this was crop that was planted by the, the, the map, basically. I also have course play. I do have course play. I don't have anything saved in here, but I do have course play. Okay. Course play is definitely something uh, we will be using, uh, not necessarily in this episode, but... We will be using course play a ton uh, in due time. Okay, course play will be something that we use a lot of on this map. Another thing I have, which you guys probably saw it before, I have this little uh, thing over here called auto drive. Again, this doesn't really pertain to somebody that's brand new starting out. However, it is a really handy mod that I will also show you guys and, and stuff how to set up and it will be very, very awesome and actually i plan on using that one here in just a minute okay because you know it would be nice to have that another thing i have is gps now you might be saying john why do you have all these mods you don't need mods you're right i don't need mods 
However, uh, GPS shouldn't be a mod, to be honest. To, to me, GPS should be base game. So I definitely don't mind running GPS. And again, I will show you guys how to set that up and get that running. Now, GPS and, uh, wait, let's see. I think course play. GPS and course play can be found in the mod hub for PC. Unfortunately, GPS, course play, and auto drive are PC exclusive mods. So you can't have that if you're on console. By the way, we'll go through a full equipment list later on. I've, I've basically changed every single piece of equipment from how we would have started on Griffin. Um, so yeah, pretty much changed it all. In fact, I know I have. <laughs> Including the pickup. This pickup's in the mod hub. And I thought it was cool because, well... It has... Wait, why isn't that working? Why isn't that working? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's why. It has beacons. <laughs> it has beacons. Therefore, it's cool. Alright, so basically what we've got going on here is we've got our combine out at the field. And we need a way to haul our soybeans back to our... Some people would call it a silo. It's a grain bin. It's called a silo and farm sim, but we need a way to haul back to our grain system here. This particular bin, you dump in the grate here and you can get stuff back out of the spout above the spout course. So we're gonna set up auto drive for this. Now, like I said, this doesn't really pertain to somebody who's just starting out, never played this game before, yada, yada, yada. This part here doesn't really pertain to that, but Oh, we're going to set this up. So we want to, uh, we want to have it on this, uh, mode here. I think, no, that's the combine mode that, by the way, struggle bus is going to be a thing sometimes. Okay. It just is what it is. Uh, no, yeah, it doesn't matter what we're hauling, right? We don't want the load. We want the, del is it that one where it'll wait there and then jump? Might be what it is. I don't remember. It's been a while, actually, guys, since I've set this all up. And uh, I don't really remember. I think that's it, though. I think that's it. I really do. I don't think that's it, actually. That's not, no, there's no way that's right, right? It doesn't matter what we're harvesting. See, see that's, that's pick up and deliver. We don't want that. We don't want deliver because we have to have a place where it's gonna where it's gonna wait. I don't think it matters what I'm hauling, does it? So basically, what I'm getting at here is you you know I've played this game uh, a few hours, right? And I still struggle. So uh, hopefully that makes somebody feel better that maybe uh, maybe is just starting out and. Uh, Know that the struggle is real. It happens, okay? It happens. I, there's a fly on my monitor. It happens, though. The struggle definitely happens. It's been a long time since I've used auto drive, so I don't. I just don't think that the uh, the, the the what I'm hauling matters right now necessarily, because he's not actually here to pick up anything. He's mostly just coming up here to sit for me to offload him to get him full. So, and like right there, that click to click from the truck to the, that's a mod too. I, uh, I have quite a few mods, <laughs> uh, basically actually not that many, but I do have some, uh, so for GPS, uh, again, it's called uh, guidance steering and it's available in the mod hub for PC only under the gameplay section. Uh, first thing you do, and I've explained this a thousand times on stream, but I also don't mind doing that. Uh, you hold down Alt and push C at the same time. That actually turns it on over there on the bottom right, if you notice. That turns it on, and then Control S, as in Sam, will open the menu here. And basically, the first thing we're going to do is go to the second page. We're going to put it to A plus heading. And basically, you either have 90, or you either have 0 or 90. 0 would be going north, 90 is going east. But that also works for south and west, if you think about it. So we're going to set up a 90. And we're going to do that. We're going to go back to the main screen here. Hit auto width. That should be our auto width at almost 14 feet. 
And then we're going to... I forgot one, one thing. We need to turn our lines on. Now, there are hotkeys for turning lines on. But just want to show you guys. We're going to turn our lines on. Okay, so there's our lines on the field right in front of us there. And then we're actually going to hit um, Alt and X to actually make it steer. So now we are being steered by GPS. I'm not touching the keyboard right now, basically. And it is going to hold me on that perfect uh, 90 degree line or within a little bit because you know the edges of the field makes your come get a little crazy sometimes stuff like that but uh it's all good so basically if you're just starting out uh, i'm pretty sure most maps if not all maps are going to have most of the time this map actually didn't start with this field ready to harvest but most maps are going to start with something uh at least close to ready to harvest i had to fast time a couple days to to get this uh, field ready to harvest, but that is all not a huge deal. Uh, you can obviously hit your escape button, come down here to the calendar, the crop calendar, and you can check all your crops that you have, when you can harvest, when you can plant, all that good stuff. And that is actually very, very useful. Um, and not every map's the same. This looks to be, this looks to be pretty much a stock one. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not, though. I don't know if this is stock or, or if it's changed. But some maps run custom uh, crop calendars, and some maps have what I would say the, the kind of the stock one from Farm Sim, you know, that you would see on a base map in Farm Sim, which, hey, if you're starting out brand new to this game, you're probably playing one of the three base game maps, either Elm Creek, uh, Erlingrat, or uh, the, the Hot Bailer on, or Oat Bailer on, or however you're supposed to say it. The, the one with the hot air balloons, you know? Probably what you're playing if you're brand new but of course for those of you that aren't brand new to this game which i'm sure there's going to be some of you guys that uh, are watching this series that aren't brand new which is totally fine and totally welcome by the way just saying but I, like i said i'm going to try to gear this towards somebody who's never played uh if you guys have uh detailed questions uh like i said you can either leave them in the comments down below or come over to my Twitch, uh, even if I'm not playing Farm Sim. Of course, it's easier if I am playing Farm Sim to be able to kind of show you what uh, what's going on or what your question is, how to how to answer. It's easier to show. Uh, but even if I'm not playing Farm Sim, feel free to come on over and ask. Uh, basically, any time you know, over on the Twitch. Uh, so yeah, or like I said, just leave a comment down below. And, I will address the ones that need to be addressed in the next video. Be a good time, right? Like I said, I'm not sure how many of these videos I'm going to get out a week. Open two. Um, eventually, when I start getting to the point where I have a lot of stuff to do on this map, I will probably stream this map uh, like one day a week, as well as you know, make up videos a week is kind of the the point here, the hope. Uh, at some point, so. Um, be a good time. It'd be a good time. We are going to get into, by the way, if you guys want to check this, we're, we ha we own more than just this field. Okay? We're going to bring up our escape menu, of course. We're going to go back up top to the to the map, to the, to the world up there. And then on keyboard here, we're going to hit X, and this will show you what you own. So you can actually click on these. You can see the value. So we could sell this land for $467,000. I'm not going to do that because this is good hay ground up here. Now, it's not necessarily a field. If you notice, it doesn't show up uh, with any kind of crop. Now, you can see there's, you know, there's grass in field 33. So this is not actually a field. This would be uh, meadow grass. It is totally mowable. It's the same grass that you see next to here with the flowers in it occasionally. Turn on some lights there. There you go. Uh, so it's meadow grass. You can totally cut it. You can totally bale it. You can uh, do whatever you want with it, basically. The only thing you cannot do with meadow grass is fertilize it. So get the proper yield that grass can yield. We will eventually come over here and plow and create a new field over here. And by doing that, we will be able to get the maximum potential yield out of our grasslands over there or if we wanted to we could plant it in soybeans or corn or whatever 
uh, as well instead of just uh, having it in hay. But I want to show you guys because hay can be very profitable and, and more specifically haylage. So the act of taking hay and making it into silage and selling that can be very, very profitable. So it is uh, it is pretty nice. By the way, if you guys just heard that little chime there at 50%, that is a 50% alarm on the combine. That is another mod. Lots of mods. I, I kind of kind of got a few, not going to lie. So, and actually, I think all but auto drive i want to say uh, everything else is from the mod hub i'm not mistaken i know this, this combine is maps in the mod hub lots of stuff in the mod hub so that way uh, i figured you know if people wanted to play along or whatever pretty much everything's going to be in the mod hub um in the past i've actually had like a google drive with all the mods that i'm using i'm not going to do that because uh, sometimes there might be a mod or two that uh you know maybe have been edited by somebody that i know or whatever and uh mod authors don't tend to like when you share their mods if they've been at you know if you edit a mod and share it eh, mod authors don't tend to take too kind of that so we're just not going to do that uh, i do apologize but not going to do that so we're going to offload into our trailer we're not full but i'm going to go ahead and offload because i was right next to the trailer so i might as well and again, this trailer is in the mod hub, the truck's in the mod hub, the combine's in the mod hub. They're all in the mod hub. Not going to lie, they're all there. So another thing I like to do, guys, uh, in my Let's Plays is just talk about life and talk about what's going on. And I don't have a crazy exciting life or anything, I wouldn't say, but uh, now we get into our shenanigans at the farm. And I'm currently uh, currently working on my Alice Chalmer B. You guys are pro probably gonna hear me talk about the old Alice Chalmers B quite a bit in this series because that's like a big thing going on in my world right now and and down at the farm and and stuff. And for those of you that maybe don't know, I'm not a farmer in real life, but I have my dad has. I don't have it. It's not mine. Dad owns five acres of the family farm that he grew up on back in the day. And it's really cool because we get to go down there and hang out. Uh, our, our building, the main part of our building, uh, of our what we call the big shed, was built in 1918. And there's just a lot of history in the family there. And it's really cool to see and, and really cool to go down there and hang out. Yeah, it's really neat. So we do garden a little bit. Uh, our big thing that we do these days is we grow pumpkins, about an acre or so of pumpkins. So I'm not a farmer. We don't sell them. We give them all away. Uh, for the most part, we give them all away. And we throw like a big party that's coming up here in October for like friends and family, that kind of stuff, people in the area that we know. And there's some people that have been coming for like 20 years to the farm every October to get some pumpkins. So. This year, their crop is not looking uh, not looking too hot, but that's okay. We're still going to go on with the party and get to visit with people. Of course, the last two years, it has been drastically messed up, especially two years ago. It was really bad. Uh, two years ago, it was terrible. We actually, actually, it worked out well. People were respectful, and it, it did work out. We ended up, like, uh, scheduling time slots, basically, for people to... Uh, by the way, totally a thumbnail pick right there. Uh, we scheduled time slots for people that come to the farm and pick their pumpkins. Last year, I don't really know what they did. I uh, decided not to uh, participate, and I kind of wasn't invited to participate kind of in a way. There's some friction in my family and stuff. We're not going to get into that too much now, but it is what it is, and it happens, and it is what it is. What it is. But this year, I uh, fully intend on participating, and Hopefully uh, things are a little smoother these days, you know what I mean? So, it is what it is. I, I think things have kind of worked their, worked their way out a little bit uh, in the family. So, hopefully. I say hopefully. I, I do mean it. <laughs> you know, just not seeing some family members just makes things better. You know, everybody's got that in their family, though, I feel like. 
think we can uh, we can relate on that one, right? You're thinking about your family right now, going, yeah, brother so and so, sister so and so, uncle so and so, aunt. You know, you have somebody in your family, and I definitely have somebody in my family that I uh, just rather not be around. There's a couple people, but one main one. But anyway, we're not getting into that anyway. So basically, guys, by running GPS. The GPS mod, guidance steering is what it's called. By running this mod, I can go anywhere in this field and I'm still being efficient. Because I have my lines that you can see, the blue line's the center line, and then the, sorry, that's a green line is my center line. The blue lines are obviously my the edges of my header or my working width, right? My auto width even at uh, right here, 13.8, that's a nine eight feet we'll call that 14 feet okay between friends you know uh basically because we have our gps setup we can go anywhere and still be efficient because we're gonna run that same our you know our passes anywhere we go in the field so technically i could go way over there and harvest 12 passes and come back over here and harvest 14 and over there and do 37 and come back over here and do 10 it doesn't matter now, I'm not going to do that, of course, because that would just be kind of weird. But with the header size that I have here, almost 14 feet. And the turning radius, I'm probably going to get some kind of pattern going just to make my turning easier instead of having to back up and pull forward and back up and pull forward. Now, some more end rows would probably be good. And uh, what I would call an end row is right here where you harvest this end of the field where you're going to be turning around some people would call that a headland i personally where i grew up and stuff we call them end rows so that is what it is i'll get to teach you guys about point rows someday too there's actually some point rows right here next to me but that's another topic for another day that is one from streaming all these years that people they don't often understand what it is and they don't often agree with me when I explain what a point row is. Actually, let me look at the map really fast. I need to turn up my autosave like intervals. Uh, yeah, there's point rows on this map. So we'll get to explain what point rows are someday. Take your guess in the comments down below, I guess, if you want to. <laughs> um, all good though, all good, in good fun. Uh, let's check our precision stuff. So obviously we're gonna need to lime our lime is bad and and honestly if you have precision turned on and you're like i don't know what's a good lime number here's the best way get out look in the bottom right of the screen and it says it's bad okay our nitrogen's great because soybeans a they don't require nitrogen and they actually do put a little nitrogen back in the soil of course which is real life uh your pH is based on your soil type. Your nitrogen is based on your crop. Just for the record. So it's kind of interesting the way it works. pH is your soil type. Nitrogen is your crop. You can actually see your different soil types here. Which there's a... Mm -hmm, yep. And then when we have uh, planted, we'll see our different variable seed rates. Uh, which is part of precision as well there's a lot of cool stuff in the precision farming dlc uh mod dlc whatever you want to call it it is free it's in the mod hub uh, i personally really like it i did not like it in farm sim 19 but here in 22 since it came out i have been running it and on every map honestly that i've played which has all been multiplayer but Every map that uh, we've played, the boys and I have played, it's all been precision farming sense, and I really, really like it, to be honest. I do have, I think I have all the, no, I do. I have all the DLCs turned on currently, including the tiny tractor one. I, yeah, don't get me started on that one. I also do have the newest one, uh, which just came out the other day, which is, of course, the pumps and hoses DLC, uh, as you can tell by pumps and well, hose reels anyway in here. Uh, I've got that DLC turned on, of course. Uh, we will be using that stuff later. Actually, I don't want to say we will. We might be using that stuff later. You know what? We probably will. This may not be manure. It might be digestate, which, of course, you get from the biogas plant. We'll cover that, cover that in a later video, of course. 
because that'll that'll be a while, you know. Um, how many videos will we get in the series? I don't know. Last series I did, well, last series of 19 I did. Uh, I said like 50 episodes. I, it just depends. Uh, I last series I did was uh, early grat. I know I kind of like bailed in the middle of that one, but stuff just got busy and kind of chaotic and. It's a whole thing. And actually, I probably shouldn't be starting to Let's Play right now because I am coming up on a busy season for me personally. Uh, coming up here towards the end of October, it starts getting crazy between the party at the farm, for the pumpkins, as I said before, and then Christmas light season will be upon us before you know it. Uh, I put up about 20,000 Christmas lights I did last year here at my house. Um, and, and I plan on doing pretty much the same display that I did last year. I'll be doing this year. So you guys will get Christmas light video or Christmas light updates as I'm putting them up in the series, I'm sure, and through my streams as well. Because I know a lot of you guys are going to be the ones that watch my streams too that are going to watch this series. So it's all good. But as you can tell, uh, starting out with a combine this size with a, this size field, I probably should have started with like 38 would have been a good field or 37. Something a little bit smaller, but this is the field the map gives you. So it's all good. But it's going to take a while. Now there are ways to uh, help with this. Obviously I could go lease another combine to speed up, speed up the process. But if I do that, then I would have two combines, which is fine. I could hire them and then run something in the field to empty them. I don't have an auger wagon, uh, of course, currently. But, uh, I mean, I could run that truck in the field. I'd rather not, so probably not going to do that. Probably going to stick with this guy right here and uh, jump ahead of a whole bunch for you guys for the next video. Because, well, you get the picture. We're going back and forth, right? I'm trying to fill this uh, trailer, though, so you guys can see how this auto drive thing works. Where he's literally just going to drive away and go into the trailer and come back. In fact, we can just tell him to do that. We don't have to actually fill it up. Because it's going... Oh, yeah, it's going to take us forever to fill up that trailer <laughs> with this combine. Uh, of course, soybeans is one of your lower yielding uh, crop, of course. So you don't get a lot of soybeans per... Uh, acre per pass, however you want to look at it. You don't get a lot. So, it kind of is what it is. Can I go, buddy? Okay. Alright. He's off to the field. Or off to the bin, I should say. Not to the field. To the bin. He is off to the home bin to get emptied out. Which is very handy now of course you guys if you're just starting the game you're not going to have auto drive not available in the mod hub let me be clear gotta go to kind of one of the sketchier websites that i don't like and i don't recommend because whenever somebody sends me a mod and they're like hey go click this link and i open it i'm like okay now how do i download this because a lot of websites are different and just because something says download now doesn't necessarily mean that you download there like that could be you know something kind of sketch sketch you, you never know so it's a it's a whole thing i'm i'm very nervous about a lot of the uh farming mod websites out there i'm sure there's fine ones out there i just i don't like them i don't like any of them i'm gonna be honest so it is what it is but uh yeah so basically guys he's gonna go off to that bin he's gonna empty he's gonna come back which is Pretty darn cool. Did he make it to the bin? Where'd he go? Wait, this mode. There we go. Now we can see him. Okay. Watch this. Let's actually enter the vehicle. He's going to drive right up here. And he is automatically... I'm not doing anything here. I'm just literally riding in the truck. That is all I'm doing. Is he not going to... Wait, does this, this guy not empty here? You know what? I didn't test this one. He totally should empty here. What's he doing? He just turned off. Okay, I've got to not have this on the right mode. You know what? It's this one, right? It's That's the combine mode again. And I keep saying that's not right, but it's got to be right. There's no combine, so he's not going to... Hold up. There's no combine, and I understand that. i got to just be doing something wrong, honestly. Which is totally fine. 
Totally fine. You guys, you guys that know auto drive are screaming at me like, you're an idiot. And I'm like, I know. It's okay. <laughs> it's not the first time. Oh, goodness. And all these lines and dots, I know they don't make any sense, but we'll get to that in a future video. Uh, explaining how that all works. So this is the auto drive, as I call it. That's what it's called. So we'll get to all that in a future video as well. You know, work this time, buddy. You should just dump right out. I didn't test it with this trailer, though. And I didn't harvest. Oh, 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 that door hits over there. Oh, no, the door hit and it's causing. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so there actually is a solution for this. I didn't test this trailer out, can you tell? So the cool thing about auto drive is you can actually move your waypoints at any time. You can just move them. That's the cool thing about auto drive, honestly. All right, I'd like you to go to that bin. Or where are you going? That is indeed not where I want you to go. But okay, I want you to go from here and dump off at this bin, sir. But it's really cool because with auto drive you can just move your waypoints that's basically what the red red uh, balls are red dots there you can uh just move them whenever you want which is great because obviously way over here now this isn't going to work very well with like a belly dump semi which is how i set all these up so it's not going to work with a semi very well but we can just move them later on and hopefully it will work with this trailer now I didn't realize the door opened like that. I actually haven't dumped grain with this trailer, I don't think. But now that we've got it over there, this should work just fine. Not a big deal. We're good to go. And uh, you should get back over there just fine in a second, which is awesome. It's so cool. It it makes life, you know, the in-game AI helper, yeah, he works sometimes. But he doesn't work like a course play, uh, I should say, an auto drive driver. Nowhere near as good as auto drive. Auto drive is amazing. I know you kind of watched a struggle bus there, but trust me, when we have a semi truck running all over this map, delivering grain bars and everything, and we don't have to do anything to it for an entire field, it's going to be awesome. Not going to lie. It's, it's actually really, really, really awesome. And actually we can set up an auger wagon on it too if we wanted to to run to the combine but the combine never stops because that's pretty cool too we'll get into the, all this stuff i'm talking about in future episodes but for now guys i think i'm going to uh harvest on probably quite a bit of this field uh before the next video and um uh, yeah we'll come back in the next video and uh continue the farming so if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, besides telling me to learn how to speak English, I know the struggle bus sometimes. I streamed all afternoon today, so I've, I've used all my words today. That's what we're going to go with, okay? But anyway, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to leave them down below. If you guys want to chat live, make sure you come on over to twitch.tv slash poobaplow. Link's also in the description for that, of course, as always. It's right at the top there. Um, other than that, I will be back with another one of these videos when I'm back with one. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm not sure of a schedule for this. So it's whenever I'm able to make one and get it posted, there will be one. I'm going to try to aim for like two a week right now. Not try to like overdo it, but try to get back into this. Let's play thing. It's been a while since I've done this. So anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always... Odds oodles.